G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today we are going to be taking on the, the Sabertooth, the Fierce Sabertooth Predator. Uh, we need some blue crystals in order to uh, level up things, so we thought we'd get one of these done. Now I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to show you what you need for this and how to get it. I'm also going to show you how to do it with dual blades, and I'm also going to attempt to do it with a bow and arrow, bronze gear equipped, and we'll see how we go. So stay tuned for both of those. Uh, skip ahead if you want to see the bow action, but if you want to see everything, watch it through to the end. But first of all, what you are going to need, and I'll just get off the mount and have a look, is you're going to need certain things. You're going to need some premium fresh meat. I'll show you where you can get that, the easiest place. We're going to need some beast bone. It's easy. Beast blood's easy. And the worship containers, you're going to have to pick them up um, by completing other tasks around the map. So uh, you should have probably a couple of those. I've already had a few of these in my possession already. But um, anyway, so the levels, they do go up. So you will need some... When you kill this particular guy here, you will get the rare fresh meat uh, from him. And you'll get premium bones and premium blood as well. And then, of course, you'll need more of it to go up to this level. And you'll need more of the containers to go up to this as well. But um, you'll need that worship container as well. But we're going to do this one today. We haven't done the other ones yet. So we are going to attempt to do it. Now, first of all, we do need to put down a campfire. We are a long way. Now, this area is very heavily protected. So there is only kind of really one space unless you run down the mountain. If you come all the way over here... To this edge you'll find that you can actually put down a campfire in here so you can see if you go in this way it's prohibited but if you come over this way it is fine all right so it says it's not allowed to be done but you can do it so we're going to chuck in our wood and now we're all set up now i've got a follower with me and i want to make sure that she stays behind so i'm just going to leave her here Hit the right control okay she's gonna stay and the jag he's not gonna follow me so we're gonna head on down now and attempt to kill this beast with dual blades okay we are at the altar and we are going to summon this particular beast and give it a go so there are a few tactics involved in beating the saber tooth as you can see he is pretty big so we want to get him we're just gonna annoy him and... all right here he comes all right so it's basically just a dodge roll and when he does that you want to come in behind him and attack so we're just waiting for his roll again he is very quick uh, i think he has been sped up a lot since Well, we so say you see, he is pretty hard. There you go. So, yeah, all right, we are going to try and heal here. While he's doing this, we can heal up. Because he does have a bleed effect, just bear that in mind. All right, we've got a couple of hits in. Essentially, this is pretty much what we're going to do. We want to. Try and get close to him. So we're going to try and save our energies. That's the problem. Whoa. Okay, I got a bit glitchy there. All right, we want to heal up again. You do not want to do that. <laughs> we um let's try and stay away i brought a, a lot of bandages with me this i've got the, the simple ones and i've got the larger ones so i will have something to eat oh i wasn't paying attention then at all see how quick he is All right, we'll wait for his attack again. All 
he's just too quick. This guy is now. He's like. I think the bow is actually going to be easier. That bleed effect is a killer. Couple of good hits then. I'll keep healing. Whoa, it wasn't quick enough then. When he's doing that circle bit, you can heal up. You have plenty of time. Come on, come on in you. So, nice hit at the back there. Almost got him down halfway. Oh, I got too close. Yeah, that was a bit silly. can be tempting to just go all in, but you, like I just did then, but you really want to wait for him to jump. It's pretty much the, the best way to take him out, I think. Oh, I had the perfect chance there. I, I jumped away accidentally. Got a couple of good hits in then. Alright, we're getting a little bit of the hang of it now. Oh. Just gotta wait for that second second pounce and then roll into him and get some good hits in. Fun. Oh, too quick for me. All right, getting some good last minute hits in. Here we go. So I managed to stun him then in the end, so we managed to get him down. I wish I'd be able to do that a bit sooner, but there you go. So that's how you do it with blades. It took a little longer than I was hoping. It's um, just the luck of the draw. And then we're basically going to carve him up and we're going to get the stuff that we want. Now he doesn't give out a lot of stuff, just four blue crystals and uh, some energy stones and stuff. So essentially we got this stuff here. So this 
rare fresh meat, uh, the rare beast blood, and we got some either you know, claws and there's your blue crystals. Uh, the sunstones, these are I've got 500 energy in them, so they're pretty good for leveling up. You've got the key to get into the pyramid, and we've also got the this the predator mark, which you can uh, make a thing out of it, I think. And then we got some um, mods as well. We got two bleeding mods with this one. Okay, so that was it. We are going to now attempt to do this uh, with the bow. So stick around. We're going to try one more time and do this with the bow. So let's give this a go now. We are we are equipped with a. Uh, just a three bronze bow, so it's not too bad. I was hope I mean struggling to level up the tribesmen I have to make me the better ones, but we're getting there. I've got the great bow as well, but I have put poison on this. I don't know. It's supposed to affect um, animals, so we'll see if this uh, does work at all. I haven't tried this. I've just heard that someone has done this, so we're just going to take some food. Um, I might actually drink. The like the Kiela as well. And we'll summon him again. And this time we're going to do it with the bow. All right, we are back. We have tried this a couple of times and we've actually died. So I'm really thinking, of, hopefully I've got it all sussed out now. So we just need to stay out of his way. And, just, and keep hitting him. So that's what we don't want. He is super fast. And it's making it a little bit more difficult now that it's night time, which is not good. Use this opportunity to heal. Well, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> oh, okay, we need to heal big time here. It's just way too quick for the bow, I think. I'm gonna keep trying to heal. Get ourselves back up to it doesn't do too bad of damage. We just gotta jump quicker. Right, we got him down to halfway. I think we've got a bit of a system going here now. That was close. Need to heal up again. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. I think we got the heal out though.
All right, we're nearly there, I think. I need to heal again. Take a ch chance. All right, <laughs> we we did it. We did it with the bow. It, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, we ended up having we do, did die a couple of times, and we had to come back down here. But it is possible. Uh, and yeah, guys, if this was helpful in some way whatsoever, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more Soul Mask content, and I'll see you on the next video. Wombat out. Wende dich zum Wärmen, wenn es schwarz und deinen Steg To the skies with pixels of blaze and battles untamed We'll conquer the virtual